Next we're going to talk about is how to find coterminal angles. Coterminal angles are basically angles that have the same terminal side. So they're angles that will end at the same place. And uh, to find those what we're going to do is we're going to add or subtract a circle. In degrees that's 360 degrees. In radians it's going to be 2 pi. Again what we're doing is we're just learning how to use our tools. Uh, because to find coterminal angles, we need to do this a lot of times when we're trying to figure out what our trig function values are for certain angles. So it's going to be very important to us later about how to find coterminal angles. So let's see if we can't look at a couple examples. Negative 250 degrees. Now, a lot of times what we'll have to do is we'll have to find the smallest positive coterminal angle. So the smallest positive coterminal angle is going to be between 0 and 360 degrees. So I can either add or subtract a circle from this one to find a coterminal angle. So if you think about it, uh, I want to add 360. So to add 360, uh, when I do this, since one's negative, one's positive, I'm actually going to find their difference. So I would get 110 degrees. So that's the smallest positive coterminal angle. So if we were to construct these, all right, we would be here negative 250 so we would rotate and we would terminate somewhere here okay uh, doing the other one 110 degrees 110 degrees we would start here we would rotate in this direction 110 degrees so as you can see those are coterminal angles because the two angles end in the same spot and that's what it means to be coterminal uh, looking at the next one uh, this time we have 11 pi force well, I'm going to find the smallest positive coterminal angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 2 pi. So 2 pi in terms of force is going to be 8 pi force. And just like before, we need our angle to be in between 0 and 2 pi. So we need it to be less than uh, 8 force. So when you subtract those, you'll get 3 pi force. So when we're constructing this coterminal angles, uh, I should have done that in different. 11 pi force, we'd rotate. That would be 4 force. 8 force, so we have 3 more force to go up to go. So we would terminate right here. And then 3 pi force, uh, if we were just graphing 3 pi force, this would be basically 1 half. And then that would be 3 force. So those two angles will terminate in the same spot. Now you could also have a negative angle. Uh, we could say, you know, this would be basically negative pi. So that would be negative uh, 5 pi force to go in the opposite direction. So you can add or subtract a circle to find coterminal angles.